Hi fans, I'm Nina Carter on Titans TV on the Horizon League Network, and today I'm joined by Detroit women's basketball head coach Autumn Rademacher. Coach, we all know Sharita had a great game on Monday, but she needs the guards to get her the ball. Audrey had 10 assists and Destiny had five. With that kind of production, does that only make Sharita's job easier? Oh, absolutely. That's something that we address almost daily in practice is our post-passing because we obviously know that Sharita is going to uh, be the focal point and she's the one that's been most effective scoring for us. So we have to find ways to get her the ball. And a lot of times when we aren't successful is when we can't get it inside to her. So that's something that uh, a lot of defenses uh, throw putting people in front of her, behind her, double teaming. And so we have to make sure that we're ready for any kind of defensive scheme. And that means having our perimeters be able to get it in there and read those angles and dribble down. So it's actually, I think it's one of the most uh, lost arts as far as basketball goes. So we definitely, definitely work on that quite a bit. And obviously Audrey and Sharita and, and Rosanna, and actually all of them do a pretty good job of getting it inside. Mm -hmm. Now, playing a team like Lords, is that more of a game to test the effort and energy of your team to make sure they prepare as well as they would if they were playing a ranked team? You know, Lords was a was a game. It actually came at a great time because we went down to Ball State and did not have one of our best games. Still had a chance to win it and just really uh, had a lot of mental errors in that game. And so I, I know that we were all very down and kind of depressed for a while. So to be able to come back and have home games, as you know, it's hard to get home games too as well. And a lot of those um, non-Division One teams are willing to travel and come uh, to your place. So it was nice to kind of get our confidence back. And, and of course, with Sharita getting the amount of points she had, uh, she's feeling pretty good about herself when she necessarily didn't get the ball as much at Ball State. Now the team has had a few days off for final exams and you guys are ready to take on IPFW next week. Um, they have a big scorer in Amanda Hyde. What what do you know about her and what have you seen from her and from the Mastodons? You know, she she's a great scorer and you know, we're gonna have to be prepared to guard her all over the floor. I mean, I don't know if we're in a face guarding situation at this point. Uh, the game plan is still be too deep to be determined, but obviously she's very capable just like Sharita is. So we have to know exactly where she is on the court at all times, transition in our man, in our zone. So we have to have real awareness. And if she, if we don't allow her to catch the ball, that'll be good for us. Um, but they, you know, they're a good team. And, and I know a couple years ago we went down there and it was a daytime game or it was an early game, just like we have on Tuesday. And we were not necessarily successful down there. So this will be another challenge for our team. Mm -hmm. With it being such an early game with tip-off at 11.30 a.m., you know, is there any concern in that and that you have to prepare any differently and get the girls ready for such an early game time? Well, we've made some changes as far as our practice time here in the next couple of days, um, Saturday, Sunday, kind of going a little bit earlier just so that we are awake and ready to go. And that's always the issue having those kids. A lot of times we have shoot around on game day, which uh, gets them up and gets them moving. But because the game is so early, we don't necessarily want to get them up that early. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to just practice around that particular time so that they are ready on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Now, last season, you guys beat IPFW 90 to 60 and Sharita only had eight points um that says a lot about the team playing together and you know the other players stepping up and you know putting some effort in you know we we had a game kind of like that game last year in the Western Michigan game, Michigan game this year where a lot of people contributed and they were taking Sharita away so everyone else was able to get themselves involved. Uh, last year the IPFW game was really the game that kind of pushed us into some wins and got our momentum going so uh, that was really good for our team last year and kind of got our winning streak started and I'm hoping that it can continue on Tuesday. All right well thank you coach and good luck and thank you for being on. Thank you Nina.